All right, so I'm in my personal office, my geek shack, my geek um, little secret room I have in here. Um, and I <clears throat> basically have been still working on Metal Rebound. Um, today I, I've been writing and I just hit this like awesome idea, started writing it down. Sometimes I won't tell it everything. So when you come to the movie or you watch the movie, they'll, they'll be something fresh, you know, but some things, even this thing that I'm thinking of that I'm not going to talk about right now, I, I'm so proud of it right now that I'm like, oh yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of like, uh, nothing nobody's seen before. Like, um, well, you've seen it before in different variations, but I'm going to try this other attempt, my version of it. So we'll see how that works out. So I've been working away at that. I watched, uh, I watch a lot of movies. So just watched, um, Terminator, like one of the Terminator movies. I'm gonna watch a couple of those. It's the 30th anniversary of Terminator right now. So while I'm filming this, this is actually July 3rd. So this might come out July 4th. Happy 4th of July if it does. 4th of July, I'll probably be still like thinking ideas, but I'm gonna enjoy 4th of July and all that kind of stuff. Next movie I'm gonna watch, which I really like, I like this re-release by um, the, I believe, Arrow, yeah, Arrow um, Pictures redid this, Steel Case, special edition, it has like fully loaded discs on Robocop. So since I'm dealing with cyborgs, I'm watching a lot of cyborg movies, and then also I'm watching other movies that have nothing to do with cyborgs, because I like certain tropes, like, um, like westerns are really good. Because a lot of stuff we watch have those Western tropes in them. Um, I'll probably watch some Ridley Scott movies and stuff like that. So this is kind of like my process. Last night I watched Future War. I stayed up really late. And um, that was awesome. I really enjoyed it. A couple times I thought it was going to get cheesy. But it reminded me of... This is weird how to say it. It's, it probably doesn't make any sense. To, to me it just did. Is it reminded me of Stranger Things with adults. Um... I don't know, maybe because of the creatures in it, the dynamic between the friendships. I don't know. That That's just me. So, but anyways, I'm going to continue to write. I'm writing right now tonight. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to write away. Maybe I'll film some of it. It's already getting kind of late. I'm going to be going to bed pretty soon. So I'm going to finish writing and then I will update you guys again on where I am with Metal Rebound. Um, I'll try to do as much videos as possible. Probably won't be doing a video um, after 4th of July because this video is probably coming out 4th of July. Technically, maybe midnight tonight, 1 in the morning. I have no idea whenever it gets uploaded. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm probably going to watch some other movies here I might watch. I have like a whole like library of films. I just come in here and I go, okay, what do I want to watch? I have all the terminator movies i have i even like hardcore henry there's some things in here that i kind of like the stylistic um things and they also have robots or avatars which are pretty cool so i'll be watching a couple of things just kind of inspire me like movies i had fun you know watching like there's a lot of weird stuff some some movies that have nothing to do with cyborgs like i love this movie dark man that has nothing to do with cyborgs but i like the trope in it the the character um trying to figure out who he is kind of like that kind of stuff this is the good action i like the action in this movie so maybe i'll watch some of that it's a lot of little movies i know a lot it's not everybody's favorite but battle um los angeles I like the battle scenes and all that kind of stuff I, I really think the director did a good job of course you gotta watch mad max you know fury road probably watch this too at some point this is just like ideas i'm getting maybe i'll watch that i even like the 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 western trope of escape to new um escape from new york i like this copy i have this is like a special edition um this one is yeah scream factory sorry it's a shout factory scream factory but yeah i'm gonna be watching a bunch of movies and yeah definitely gotta watch this it's it's uh anniversary i have like so many versions here's my favorite version it's a dvd that's my favorite version and it has like more special features on it than all the other re-release because this came out 
when DVDs were like, oh, this is awesome. This is, this is like where all the special features are. And when this came out, I bought it and it was like pretty pricey. I'm so glad I did because they didn't end up when they do these like re-release, they don't end up putting all the cool stuff on it. Like it leaves stuff out. But I got all the re-releases because each re-release had like different versions of like um, special features on it. So I'll definitely be watching. I think I'll like watch this one. It has a cool documentary, like a retrospective documentary on it. And then um, I know they're DVDs, but that's what I was buying then. And then I have the Blu-rays and stuff like that. So, but that's what I'm going to be doing. I might even watch. I know it doesn't make any sense. I just like the style of this director who made this film. Um, I know a lot of the Dyer movies, they, they did okay, you know, in the box office. But I really enjoy the style of this director. That's not John McTiernan, but it reminded me a little bit of kudos to John McTiernan. Like his style and the things he likes. So yeah, I'll be watching a bunch of stuff, you know. I even like Logan. That's a good movie too. I didn't think I would turn into this like movie review and stuff like that. And I'll probably just for the heck of it, I might just watch this movie right here. I'm kidding. Probably not. But it's kind of funny is this movie's going to use um, some mime performance to um, utilize for the cyborgs and stuff like that. So I'll be looking for people that can do isolation really well, like the robot dance and stuff like that. That's stuff I can do um, pretty well. At, I mean, that's what, that's what this is. I used to get paid. Um, I, I, I get paid to do this for First Night Missoula. And... Uh, do the robot and stuff so i'll probably do that it's a lot of little things i might watch universal soldier is another one i might touch and figure out and look watch that one i kind of like that that kind of story so there's a couple of things i'll be watching there's a lot i'm looking at i'm like oh yeah i can watch that oh yeah 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 so that's what i'm going to be doing as i write I'm just watching all these movies kind of give me ideas i do like the joker so I don't know why, but sometimes you watch movies that have nothing to do with what you're doing, a style movie. And then I am gonna watch, like, I love these movies. And I always seem to watch them, Evil Dead. And I met Lloyd Kaufman, and I know this is not at all the same movie, but the special features on this, like how they got it made and how he, like, still to this day, like makes movies and stuff, it's very inspiring, so. Yeah, so now I'm going going all over the place. But yeah, there's a lot of movies I'll probably watch. This one's a good one too. I'll probably watch this one. I would highly recommend this. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, it's Dark Angel or a AKA I Come in Peace. Really good movie. So yeah, I might even watch The Punisher. Dolph Lundgren's Punisher. I like that one. There's a lot of films in here that I'm going to watch. But I, right now I'm looking at Hardcore Henry and there's like some cool like action sequences that I can get inspire, inspiration, you know, for the film I'm working on. And yeah, there's a lot of like cool movies as I'm looking down here and stuff like that. So I even like uh, Total Recall has some cool like cyborg stuff and mutant things in it that I might use and utilize like as inspiration. And then... Uh, yeah, I'll just keep watching a bunch of movies that kind of remind me of that kind of stuff. There's one movie I really like, but I only have it on VHS, is FX2. And I really like the cyborg opening scene, but I can watch that on YouTube. I really like that. I might even watch... I know, it doesn't make any sense. Fifth Element. I even have a Blu-ray of that. And uh, The Dark Knight Rises. I like the Joker in it. I like some of the stuff that they did in that so yeah there's a lot of things i might watch i love this has nothing to do with the movie but i love the cinematography in this film and these brothers that directed this film and also brother um stars in it um uh good time is like a good time it is a good movie it's not like for everyone but i like the cinematography and the way they tell story with the cinematography and acting in it it's really cool so oh and another one definitely i like this movie Dr judge dread i am going to watch this i feel like i'm doing like a movie review all of a sudden 
didn't mean to do that, but this is kind of what I do. I watch other movies to make my movies. Why do I like this movie so much? Why do I still go back and watch, you know, RoboCop? And why do I buy new versions of them all the time? Like, why do I watch Blade Runner all the time? That's another movie I'll probably watch. Even, I like the new Blade Runner. Um, I have to watch that one. I even have Blade Runner on Blu-ray. But I kept the DVD because it has well, more special features. This is the special edition. Two disc special edition. And it's the the final cut version. There's so many versions. Um, but it has, like, extra special features on that and different versions and stuff. So... I'm stoked about that. So, anyways, yeah, I'll be watching a lot of movies while I'm right. Oh, another movie. It's fun. It's ridiculous. Virus. It's basically about these alien, like, cyborgs that come down onto a ship and basically turn people into cyborgs. So, it's fitting. So, I don't know. I'll watch it. Something, part of it might help me. Stuff like that. So, I don't know. So, yeah, I will be working um very hard and I, I noticed too some of our movies are not available right now on amazon but you can go over to like some of them are we still have carpenter available there you can go watch carpenter um and a few others i always forget grid street and such and some of the others because after they do a run they take them down for a little bit so hopefully we'll get some them back up there. But they're available on our YouTube channel too. So go over to fastcoastproductions.com, click on our um, YouTube, or you can just go to youtube.com slash fastcoastproductions or search us on YouTube. And all, a lot of our movies are on YouTube right now. So anyways, I'm Christian Ackerman with Fast Coast Productions and the Fast Coast Film Academy. This is uh, production diary number three. And I hope to see you in the movies.